this is Algebra 1. This is the five honors chapter, or lesson five, the honors problems. And um, <clears throat> let's go through these real quick. It's talking about vectors. Hopefully you guys have watched Despicable Me, where there's Vector who talks about size. What does he say? Direction and magnitude. <laughs> Okay, so that's what this is about. So I'm just going to read number one. Hopefully you're looking at number one, but you always want to start right here at the origin. When I just did these, I sketched these out real quick. You can use the one in your book. But it says, another ant begins its journey from the same ant hill, which we can call the origin. So we're going to start here at the origin. He goes six steps due east. So I'm going to take the little ant. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm right here. That's me, the ant. It says, describe its vector by giving magnitude. Magnitude is, what is this? How many steps did he take? Well, he went six steps. And which direction did he go? He went east. So this is exactly, that's the answer they're wanting. They're wanting uh, the direction and the magnitude right there. Okay, so that's all they want right there. Okay, so, yeah. Now he says in number two, it says the ant in number one continues its journey, but it goes ten steps west. Notice it's going the other direction. So you could just count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now my ant is right here. Notice he is from the origin. He is four steps. One, two, three. He is four steps from the origin. So this was number one. Number two, I would say, ah, oh, he is four steps. I didn't mean to put a comma right there. He is four steps west. west. <laughs> That's right. That's all it wants you to do right there. You could have also thought, here you are at six, and when you went this direction, it's like subtracting ten. So notice you should have landed right here at negative four, which is where you were at. But they're always talking about, as far as direction, they're talking about how far did you go from the origin. And we went four units west. So that's how you would do that one. Okay. Then look at number three. That's okay. Look at number three. Allison's being my camera woman and she's helping. It says, several children in a birthday party are going on a treasure hunt. Just focus. Are you focused right here? Yeah. The instructions are given in vectors as follows. It says, go three paces north. You always start at the origin. So we're going to go three paces north. One, two, three. So I'm right there. Four paces west, so west is this direction, so I'm going to, you guys have a little grid, it's a lot easier for you, but you're going to go one, two, three, four, so I'm about right here, okay, seven paces south, south is down, so we're going to go down seven, so we're going to go, uh, I'm trying to do it without my lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, it should line up right there at seven, hopefully that looks like it lines up, when we, seven paces south, and then we're going to go four paces east. East is going this way. Going, going. One, two, three, four. You should land right there. This is where the children at the party are at. That's the treasure right there. It says give the resultant vector. Well, how far are you from the origin? One, two, three. You are four steps from the origin. And which direction are you from the origin? You are south. That's all they're wanting right there. Four steps south. I think they may say four paces. Who really cares? Okay, so let's look at number four. Vectors can be drawn using arrows. It says the head of the arrow points in the direction. You can still use this. Look in your book at what they did for number four, but they have a plus three, and it's pointing this way. In the book, it looks like this with a plus three, and then in the book, they have something that looks like this with a minus three. Well, basically, what they're doing is they're going three paces this direction, and then they're going three paces back. So I'm back right where I started. And then in the book, it gives me this arrow, and it wants you to go down two. So if I go down two, I end up being right there. So where are you? You went two, and you are just went south. So you're down two, which means you're going south two paces. So you guys try number five on your own. Okay. Now we're going to look at number six real quick. Number six gives me this little right triangle, and it tells me this is four and this is four, and you need to know this length. Hopefully everybody remembers the Pythagorean theorem. This is the Pythagorean theorem. The C always stands for your hypotenuse. Okay? That's always the side opposite. See this little right angle? It's the side opposite the right angle. So that, it's always the longest, and that's your hypotenuse. These are your A and your B, your two legs. So this says take a leg and square it. So I would want to take four squared. And so happens are the same length, but take your other leg and square it. And that's going to equal my hypotenuse squared. Well, four squared is 16. 
That gives me 32. And the way you solve that, you do the opposite of squaring something, which would be taking the square root of it. So C, I guess I'll squish it right down here, is the square root of 32. So this length right here is the square root of 32. So on number 7, it says, what is that resultant vector? Well, it would be the square root of 32. Okay, that's the magnitude. And the direction is you are going northeast. And I don't know if I left myself room right here. I'll run it onto this other paper. But it's the square root of 32 northeast. Okay, so the last one, let's look at number 8. You wrote it on the other paper. That's okay. I don't care. All right, look at number eight, and then this is the last one on your honors problems, but we got Sally, and I'm just going to do this right here. I'm going to always do this, and I'm going to start at the origin. She drove eight miles south, so I'm going to go down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right now, Sally's right there, and then she went eight miles west. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's here. So here's what I've got. I know this length was eight, and I know this length, what did I go down? I forgot. Eight. So we're wanting to know this length right here. Do you see this right angle? That means I can use Mr. Pythagorean. So take, this is my hypotenuse. See how it's opposite that right angle right there? That is your C. This is my C right here. So this says take any leg. These are my two legs and square it. So I'm like eight squared. Take your other leg and square it. That would be what, 64 plus 64, which is what, 128. How do I, I don't want to solve for C squared, I want to just solve for plain old boring C. So I'm going to get C equals the square root of 128. And you can leave it just like that, except it does ask the vector. So remember she went this direction first, and then, I guess I kind of drew this weird, then she went actually, you know what, now that I'm looking at this, but I don't want to redo this whole video, she went south, didn't she? <clears throat> and then she went west, so she went 8, and then she went 8. So she went south, and then she went this direction. We're actually going this direction. So what is this direction? That would be southwest. Thank you, Allison. <laughs> She's helping me, and I love that. <laughs> that would be southwest. Tell you what, on video, you get all weirded out. Either way, <clears throat> sorry about that one. doesn't really matter. You still have your right triangle, and you're going to solve it the same way. But hopefully everybody realizes this direction is southwest which right here because remember she started here here we are all happy hello <laughs> and I went down this way over here and now I'm really happy so I went southwest hopefully everybody sees that but we still get this length to be 128 so anyway that's what I get for not looking ahead so hopefully that helps that's it